Hello everyone, welcome to the AI practical series. In this particular session, we'll be studying about the Bayes theorem. So I've divided this see this session into two parts. The first is explanation of the Bayes theorem, and second part is the Python code implementation and execution. So this is the Bayes theorem. So Bayes theorem, as we can see, is a fundamental theorem in the probability theory. It describes how to update the probability of a hypothesis maybe it is called as an event based on new evidences uh, new evidence so it is a way of calculating the pro conditional probability like suppose if you have two events a and b uh, so probability that a given b is equal to probability of b given a into probability of a divided by probability of b so this is how we calculate the probability of a given so this one this part this part is called the conditional probability so probability of a given b so what is the probability that a will occur given b has already occurred so sometimes uh, what happens is that it is easier to calculate all the terms on the right hand side but difficult to calculate the left hand so we can actually if we know this we can use Bayes theorem uh, for calculating this so this they are given some uh, the names are given to the terms uh, this uh, we already done so what is pa pa is called the prior probability so we know something beforehand then p of v is the evidence or it is also called as the marginal probability of event b now this is the python code for executing this so when we run this code it will ask us for entering the priority probability enter the likelihood enter the evidence and it will calculate the posterior probability using this particular formula so this is a very simple program we will execute this code in uh, Google Colab and then we will consider one more example based on Bayes theorem. We will execute the code on Google Colab. So I just click on code. I have copied the code. I will just uh, paste the code here. So this is our required code. We will execute this code. It will ask us when we run the code, it will ask us to enter the prior probability the likelihood and evidence when we enter this we get the result in form of posterior probability so I'll just execute this code so it is asking for the prior probability so let us take it 0 0.01 likelihood let us take it as 0 0.99 evidence we can take it as 0 0.77 so it is giving the probability 0.01285 something so if we just truncate this so we have 0.013 that is 13 percent probability now let us consider one more case so this is uh, an example which is given in many of the books uh, a best example to demonstrate the Bayes theorem so we have a cancer diagnostic center which performs tests to determine if a person is suffering from cancer now the accuracy of the test uh, is uh, as follows if a person is suffering from cancer then the test is positive 99 percent of a time so if we convert this into the conditional probability then we read it as probability that the, that the test is positive given the person is suffering from cancer is 0 0.99 this is the likelihood then second thing which is given to us if a person is not suffering from cancer then the test is positive that it shows the person is suffering from cancer is 10 percent of the time so the person that that the probability that test is positive that the test is showing the person is suffering from cancer but the person is not having, having the cancer so it is like uh, 10 percent so the, the probability is 0 0.10 this is also a likelihood now in the population in a population around one person people they suffer from cancer so we write this in this form 0 0.01 this is the prior probability this is the prior probability not prior it is a prior probability now what we have to find suppose a person goes for a test and the test is positive then what is the probability that he suffers from cancer so this is how we write it so we need to find this probability that the, that the person is suffering from cancer given the test is positive so we need to find this posterior probability so all we do is this is the python code for this Okay, the same thing is there which we did in the previous case only the evidence we need to find the evidence as you can see probability is positive probability is, is not 0 0.05 it is 0 0.01 sorry okay. 
and this is what is given 0 0.99 0 0.10 okay and uh, the evidence we need to find the evidence so evidence is likelihood cancer into prior probability and likelihood no cancer into minus 1 minus prior probability okay and this is the formula and then we get this posterior probability so now let us run the code on google colab and find what is the posterior probability so this google Co colab I will just paste the code here so this is the code for our example of cancer tests so I will just click on this run and get the output so this is the what we are given this prior probability is given as 0 0.01 likelihood is 0 0.99 likelihood positive test given no cancer is 0 0.1 so the final answer what we are interested is the probability of cancer given test is positive is 0 0.09 so only 9 percent so this is uh, completely out of what we can think okay it is again uh, if we may think that if the test is 99 percent sure then that the person may be suffering from cancer 99 percent but it is just 9 percent so this is how the base theorem works so that's all for this progress session thanks for watching